I came out just two years ago. Um, I was a late bloomer, as you would say. Um, I never was around anybody gay and growing up, and the only things I heard about being gay was that it was bad. I came out, I finally like learned to accept it within myself because I grew up, you know, like really hating that part about me and I was like ashamed and embarrassed. And like I went through like um, depression and all that stuff. But um, I finally got comfortable with it and I came out to my friends and stuff. And then six months after I came out to myself, um, I finally decided it was time to come out to my dad. And I thought we had a really good relationship and I was out of college and out of school and I thought, why wouldn't it hurt? We, I kind of always thought that my parents knew and they were just kind of waiting for me. So um, we finally like went out to lunch one time and he, we were driving back from dinner. I kept stalling, driving back from lunch and I kept stalling and um, finally on the way back to drop me off at my car, we were sitting in the truck on the way there. And I just thought, this is the moment, this is where I have to do it. I just have to like jump that cliff. And um, I just remember like my face turning like so bright red and my like, like I had like this knot, softball size knot in my throat and my stomach hurt, my hands are sweaty. And I was like, freaking out and I was so nervous and so scared and um my growing up my dad would always um, have us come into his office and ask us how our day was and before we were done um, talking to him for the day he'd always ask us is there anything else you want to add so when we were sitting in the car and we were telling uh, came to tell him I was finally like well um, you know, like, when we were growing up, you've always asked us, like, after we talked to you, if there's anything else to add. Um, I always felt like I wanted to say, you know, I'm not, I said, the exact words I said was like, I'm not exactly straight. And he just went really silent. And we just sat there for a few minutes, like completely dead silent, like after talking and having a good lunch. He didn't really say anything. And he, we finally got to my car and he just looked really, really upset. And I was like holding it in, like holding back everything. And I was just like, I just said before I got out of the car, I was like, if you, I just thought I should tell you. And if you want to talk about it, if you have anything to ask me about, um, like now, like we can now. And so he didn't say anything and I kind of like leaned over and hugged him and he just sat there like in the car staring straight forward and, um, he didn't look at me or say anything and I got out of the car truck and he pulled away and I was like, fine, I was fine. I opened the car door and I sat in my car and put the keys in the ignition to, to start it I just like started bawling crying and I was like really really upset because I I guess I expected him to be like it's okay like we always knew and we're I'm happy that you're finally like comfortable with yourself but it didn't really go that way we had talked we used to talk on the phone like once a week and we didn't talk for like a good six months and, and I was really upset about it like really really upset about it but um someone told me you know it took me so long to come up to myself like you have to at least give that amount of time to like family or friends to get comfortable with the idea so that's what helped me get through it it just takes a lot of time so that's just like a small part of my coming out story because I mean, coming out can be a really long process and it can be throughout your life. That's a small part of my coming out story.